it's this assumption of a valueless, purposeless, senseless matter following a fixed routine imposed by external relations, the mechanistic universe. It's this that I call scientific materialism. It's an assumption I'll challenge as being entirely unsuited to the scientific situation at which we've now arrived. And you find that he um, immediately goes on to indict Descartes. Well, turn over to page 18, and halfway through the page you have this. Uh, a little over halfway through the page. The faith in the order of nature, which has made possible the growth of science, is a particular example of a deeper faith. This faith in the order of nature cannot be justified by inductive generalization. Why not? Well, you remember Hume's problem with induction? You see? That inductive generalization beyond present experience involves the principle of causation of which we have no empirical evidence. Well, he's going to come back to that later on. He anticipates it here. That faith in the order of nature cannot be justified by any inductive generalization. It springs from direct inspection of the nature of things disclosed in our immediate present experience, concrete experience. That's where we get the idea of an order in nature. The fact that day succeeds day. That your roommate is relentlessly the same. And so forth. There's no parting from your own shadow. It's there all the time. I am I. To experience this faith is to know that in being ourselves, we are more than ourselves. To know that our experience, dim and fragmentary as it is, yet sounds the utmost depths of reality. To know that detached details, merely in order to be themselves, demand that they should find themselves in a system of things. To know that this system includes the harmony of logical rationality, the order of nature, the harmony of aesthetic achievement, there's that value achievement. To know that while the harmony of logic lies upon the universe as an iron necessity, the aesthetic harmony stands before it as a living ideal, molding the general flux in its broken progress towards finer, subtler issues. Hey, he waxes eloquent from time to time. <laughs> Indeed he does. <laughs>